It's interesting that this relationship of harmonics and octaves directly affects our emotions. And we see the same kind of thing going on in the cosmos and the same thing going on in the quantum field that we know has an emotional component to what kind of arrangements these are holding together. So backing up from the quantum foam far enough to see that there are patterns of harmonic relationships arising that form patterns the same way that we see with the sand on the Shladny plate, that really we've got patterns, mathematical patterns of activity at a quantum scale that spin themselves up through all the layers that are required through atomic scales in the periodic table that form compounds, that form me and you. Um, all of those are nested patterns of activity based on the same math that has evolved in music theory. Quantum harmonics, the fractal verser chronicles. So it's not just me in these broadcasts. It appears that many people are writing articles now about this concept of quantum harmonics and the fractal nature of the same activity that we see with harmonics existing everywhere you look, in the deepest and the smallest of the quantum field to the largest cosmic strange attractors that form cosmic network that looks exactly like the network in the brain. Uh, the scientific community, when it sees resonant fields showing up, their, their first knee-jerk response is to think, oh, well, that's just a random process. But when they start analyzing the math of it, they see it's not random at all. It's obeying this harmonic oscillator sort of modes of function based on the same laws that we see in music theory of octaves, harmonics, and overtones. That once we have a fundamental frequency, we have harmonic frequencies that spin from that and give it its flavor. Harmonic brain modes, where different parts of the brain are linked together in harmonic mathematical ways that creates a dual, triple, quadruple function of different areas of the cortex that are all functioning simultaneously to each other to get some function done. And it's not through the network of the nerves that connect them anymore. It's because they're resonating sympathetic with, with each other in harmonic modes of operation, which no longer needs the network of nerves that, that connect them. And more than that is what we see happening with gamma brain activity at 40 hertz, where gamma modulates theta brain activity and lifts it right out of the cortex completely into a wireless network function of the brain. And you can be sure that that probably obeys the same laws of modes of harmonic operation. They just haven't gotten that far yet. The music of the mind throwing light on human consciousness. Australia scientists have shown that complex human brain activity is governed by the same simple universal rule of nature that can explain other phenomena, such as the beautiful sound of a finely crafted violin or the spots on a leopard. This team has identified a link between the distinctive pattern of brain function that occurs at rest and the physical structure of people's brains. Now this is new, this is brand new, that what they're saying here is that the, that the modes of function of different parts of the brain and how different neurons fire together and how brain waves function and consciousness as a, uh, are, is linked to that, is deeply connected to the shape of the of the noodles and the grooves. So the noodles and the grooves are important in their own shape. So this concept of the noodles and the grooves is important. And it also means that even though the noodles and the grooves on every person's brain follow the same pattern and rules, that we have a right left hemisphere, that we have a big fissure going across the middle, and the noodles on the front side of that are the sensory cortex and on the back are the motor cortex and various areas you can identify with all the names and stuff. However, when you look at the brain itself, it's just like a fingerprint that no two people's brains look the same. The, the noodle architecture is, a, is foundational, but the detail of how big this particular noodle is or how, how much space it takes up or how big the sulcus is, uh, the, the space between them, those are unique to each individual like a fingerprint. And the uniqueness of that shape, of the shape of those noodles, is deeply now associated with neuron brain function and, the, and how the brain forms these uh, modes of harmonic interaction lighting up er various areas of the cortex. 
a link between the distinctive pattern of brain function that occurs at rest and the physical structure of people's brains. Here's a new one, transpiritual psychology, bridging quantum harmonics, conscious manifestation, and the quest for cosmic harmony. It's a thing that's arising. It's a great time to be alive. All these questions are coming. The questions that used to fill the minds of our ancient ancestors and then got frittered away as, as we became hypnotized by our own technology and entertained into a world where we no longer could see the pithy magnificence of the fact that we're alive and that there is anything at all is a miracle. The fact that there are movements of foot specifically looking at these quantum harmonics and how they relate to uh, the quantum field and the cosmos and what lies directly in between, which is your consciousness itself, in a sort of a new area, a sort of era of arising of the need for the search uh, arising again in humanity that we're trying to tap into.